received a message. We wanted to know how to connect the IP camera, network video recorder, and PoE switch together to have an IP camera system. He has an analog system in his house running over 30 years. He says it's time to upgrade. He's doing this for his wife. He's about 78 years old. He just wants to make sure his wife will be safe if he left first. It's a really touching case. I decided to make this video to give him some general idea how to put this equipment together to have an IP camera system. I don't know how much help this video can give him since he ordered the device from the eBay. Probably it will have different operation manuals. The layout could be different since each factory will have their own design for the product. But the general concept should be similar. All right, now let's move to the shop and see how we can put all this equipment together. The device I give you is start with a simple system with just one camera, PoE switch and the MVR. Then connect this camera to the MVR, play around the setting and the configuration after he's familiar with the setup, then adding more camera to the system. Now let's start from the PoE switch. This is a PoE switch. This Ethernet port not only can provide the data exchange but also the power to our edge device. We need to attach this PoE switch to our modem first. We can pick this PoE port, but if your PoE switch has the uplink port, it's better to take the uplink port since sometimes the uplink port will have a higher speed than the PoE port. But in our PoE switch, all these ports support one gig speed, so there's no difference. Let's just pick one PoE port and connect to the LAN port of the modem. We need to do this first to guarantee the network video recorder will have the correct IP address. Since we have the DHCP server in the modem, the new device connecting to this PoE port will get the correct IP address. All right, now the PoE switch is ready. Let's go for the network video recorder. This is a PoE MDR. It has four PoE ports and one data port. Since the client plan to use the PoE switch to power this IP cameras, we are not going to use these PoE ports. We will connect this PoE MVR to the PoE switch through this data port. Before we do that, we need to make sure the hard drive is installed in this network video recorder. Sometimes the hard drive are stored separately. Now let's open it up. There's no hard drive but two cables one for power and one for data. We need to install this hard drive. When we pick the hard drive, make sure the hard drive is decided for the surveillance purpose. The producer has produced different kind of hard drive. If the hard drive is decided for the PC, they didn't expect you are going to put the hard drive running 24-7 and has such heavy data right into the hard drive every second and every minute. Alright, now let's connect the hard drive. This is for the power and this cable is for the data. I need to attach the hard drive to the bottom of the network video recorder and use four screws to fix the hard drive. So I'm not going to fix the hard drive, let's leave it for later. Next, we need to connect this network video recorder to the TV or the monitor. We do have two types of outputs. One is HDMI output, another is VGA output. If we are using the TV, we probably will use the HDMI output. We also can use the VGA output for the PC monitor. And one last thing we need is the mouse. We do have the two USB. We connect the mouse to one of the USB so we can operate the menu output through these ports. And also, we need the cable to connect this network video recorder to our PoE switch. Alright, the hard drive network video recorder is about to be ready. I will leave this monitor later and Finish the camera first. This is an IP camera. Most IP cameras support PoE power over Ethernet. 
can use one cable to connect this camera to the PoE switch, then we got both power and data. I think this is the simple part for the IP camera system. For the analog IP camera system, usually we need to set, deal with the power separately. The PoE power over Ethernet will go through this Ethernet port. Now let me use this short patch code to connect this camera to the PoE switch. The cable supposed to pass through this cap before we use this connector. One thing I want to point out is even we are using this cap, it's still not 100% waterproof. Since the pressure is not strong enough to stop the water enter into this connector. So it's always better to provide extra protection such as the tube, even you are using this cap. Otherwise, the paint inside this connector could get rust if there's serious moisture, moisture in your area. All right, now the camera is getting the power and you see we already established the connection. We do have another two connector. This is for DC, but we are not going to use it because we have the power through this PoE port. And this is the audio input. You may not see the audio input in your camera. You can install the microphone and connect to this audio input and got the audio transmitting to your network video recorder. All right, I think we have connected this camera ready to this PoE switch. Let's connect this network video recorder to our monitor and try to configure the setting on the MVR. This is the HDMI cable. Another end of this cable has connected to the HDMI port on this monitor. Let's connect the cable to the HDMI port on the NVR. The good thing to use HDMI cable is it supports both audio and video. If there's audio built into your camera, you can hear the audio on the TV directory. If you just use the VGA port, you probably need to connect the speaker to the external audio output on the never video recorder. Let's power up the ne never video recorder. It will take about one minute for this never video recorder to boost up. Remember we mentioned the simplest part to use the IP cameras, we can use the PoE. One cable can handle one camera. We don't need an additional power for the camera. But what is the difficult part? The IP camera is built based on the TCP IP protocol. Unlike the analog camera, it's output the rough video. What you need to do is connect the analog camera to your DVR, digital video recorder. You will see the audio popped up on the monitor directory. But the camera is a different case. Since it follows the TCP IP protocol, each camera has the IP address. So it creates complexity in this case. If the IP address conflict or the IP subnet is set to the wrong subnet, you're not going to make the connection to the camera. All right, without talking too much, let's move to the menu of this network video recorder and connect this camera to this network video recorder. We are going to use this mouse. The mouse has no much different from the PC. It's, we can double click or right click, right? Let's do it. First, right click the mouse, we got several options. We will use the first one, main menu. If this is the first time you use your network video recorder, usually we will see the prompt to ask you to create a new password for the network video recorder. It's important to mark down that password. You may need that password in future. Let's hit login. We got different settings. As I mentioned, the layout could be different from your network video recorder. It depends on how the manufacturer put this layout together, but we do need to check a few options. The first option is the hard drive. Remember, we have installed the hard drive with this network video recorder. We go to the once and find the hard drive. The hard drive has been detected. We can read the capacity. Hard drive is good. Now, the second setting is the display. You can go to system and the display. If you see it, the ratio doesn't match to your TV, 
you can go to the display to change the resolution. Here we got the resolution. We have different resolution output from this network video recorder. Now the one more setting is the network. Go to main menu and network. The DHCP is on. So that's the reason why I said it's important to connect this switch to the modem first. So when we hook up this network video recorder to the PoE switch, then the modem can assign the correct IP address to this network video recorder. We have the DSGB enabled, we got the correct IP address. Now it's time to add the camera. Right click, we go back to the main, main screen and right click again, choose the channel set. The camera has been discovered. We can read the IP address of the camera and then device name, also the MAC IP address. And you can manually change the IP address of your camera by leaving it there. And there's also the editing mode. We have the menu mode. We have the auto mode. If you choose the motto, then the network video recorder will change the IP address of our camera automatically. All right, it's good. So we hit the add. Now the camera is connected. It will connect to the channel 2. Let's hit apply. Access. We see the live video. Okay, I want to put this camera to the channel 1 since we just have one camera, right? Let's drop the camera to the channel 1. Now we have the live video. Okay, this is the full screen. The camera is live. One thing important is the, this red icon. Remember I said even you don't install the hard drive to the network video recorder, you still will see the live video on the monitor. So seeing the live video on your monitor doesn't guarantee the network video recorder is recording. It's time. It's it's better to go back to check this recording button. Make sure it's red. We have complete all the setting. That's all. Let's review what we have done. We connect the PoE switch to this modem to have the internet access. Then we connect the camera and the network video recorder to the PoE switch. The PoE switch provides the power to the camera and we have the live video on the monitor. Now we can add more camera to this PoE switch and go to the menu of the network video recorder and link this camera to the network video recorder. One thing I want to point out is it's better to use this PoE switch to connect all these cameras and the network video recorder. Even this modem is done, let's say I remove the modem, it's not going to affect the system. The camera is still running, the network video recording is still recording. Alright, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.